Hi, Dr. Sheetal. How are you feeling today? You must be feeling on top of the world. Getting ranked Hi. one in INISS. Hello, ma'am. I'm actually feeling on the top of the world. Uh, I feel so happy that all my hard work has finally led to an amazing result with help of God and my teachers and my parents. So we have she Dr. Sheetal Lahuja here, uh, whom I'm very proud to introduce. She has won rank one in INI SS. And uh, among so many students, she has managed to clear the theory as well as the practicals. And she's decided to take up pediatric gastroenterology as her specialty. Am I right, Dr. Sheetal? Yes, ma'am. So uh, we are very happy to introduce her and have her with us today. So, uh, Dr. Sheetal, can you tell us something about yourself, where you did your undergraduation, post-graduation, and why did you choose pediatric gastroenterology? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I have done my undergraduation from Government Medical College and Hospital, Chandigarh, my post-graduation from VMMC and Sabdajan Hospital, New Delhi, and... Uh, I uh, chose pediatric gastro, ma'am, because uh, in the OPDs that we used to see in our MD days, around 40 to 50 percent of the general OPD patients used to be gastro. So since gastro forms a major chunk of pediatrics, it deals with liver as well as the entire luminal tract and the pancreas. I found it very vast and very interesting. And then I took up the subject, ma'am. That's very nice to know. So uh, when when did you decide to take up the marrow uh, lessons? Who told you that, yeah, you can go to marrow and you can listen to the videos? Uh, Ma'am, I uh, during my undergraduation, while I was preparing for my MD, I uh, studied from marrow at that time. And uh, this year, when I came to know that they have introduced pediatric SS, that I was actually waiting for it to come, ma'am. So as soon as they introduced, I must have been uh, among the uh, early uh, buyers of the pack. So I actually bought Pediatric SS and I did my videos from that only. I have a great trust in Maroma since my UG days. Oh, that's interesting to know. And you're, you have a legacy with Maro. That's nice. Yes, yes ma'am. So it's uh, Maro has been your friend whose hand you yes, held and walked through your UG, PG and also your super speciality. So that's really nice. Yes, uh, so uh, how did you find the marrow uh, videos and how did it help you cross this milestone? Uh, Ma'am, for pediatric gastro, I went through all the videos that, uh, that were given in marrow and the videos were very comprehensive. They had A to Z of the entire topic, ma'am, like uh, topics like Ecclesia, Cardia, IBD were done beautifully in the gastro part, ma'am. And after making those notes, I would add on to it from the guidelines, but there wasn't much to add. And the concept of the pathogenesis was again explained very beautifully in Maro, ma So uh, for the general part, I went through all the notes of Maro, but for the pediatric gastro, I did see all the videos, ma'am. Okay, so I, I'm really happy that the videos were useful to you. And uh, how did the video, how did you feel the marrow video was different from, say, st studying from a textbook? Uh, Ma'am, uh, you have actually, uh, right from the pathogenesis to clinical features, the percentages of various, like, you know, IBD, UC versus Crohn's, for kitna person may we have this, kitna person may we have this, all the important points were told beautifully. After that, if I will read Nelson, I will know what the important things are. And hardly anything would be left for me to add uh, onto my notes, ma'am. And uh, how did these videos help you in uh, navigating your practical round? So you have the MCQ part, and then once yes. you cross that, uh, did the videos, uh, did these videos help you in, uh, you know, navigating the practicals, answering the questions that were asked? What is your opinion about that? Uh, Ma'am, in the practical round, uh, the questions were uh, case-based uh, scenarios, Ma'am. Uh, typically how they were taught in Maro, Ma'am. Like in Maro also, when you, you, you used to start a topic, it used to be like a seven-year-old child has come to you with these complaints. Now, what will you do? On investigations, we find this. So similar questions were there in the practical also. Now. Uh, it wasn't just a simple one-word answer kind of a thing. It was all clinical-based scenarios, how we're taught in Maro. Uh, so uh, you feel that the videos helped you in uh, going through the case scenarios better than just going through MCQs or some MCQs yes. books or textbooks, etc. 
definitely ma'am definitely so dr sheetal what excited you about uh, pediatric gastroenterology was it the luminal part was it liver and the metabolic liver diseases liver transplant or was it the exciting endoscopic procedures that you would get to do so what uh, made you tilt towards gastroenterology uh, ma'am i was more excited about the luminal part of gastroenterology and the fact that uh, like i'll be the only uh, pediatrician like amongst the general pediatricians or other specialties who can do an endoscopy and who can uh, dilate the strictures who can eradicate the varices who can diagnose all the gastric ulcers so i love the endoscopy part more now okay so the we usually say that uh, gastroenterologists are wannabe surgeons you know we became we came we became physicians uh, because we like to diagnose and we like to uh, you know we like that sherlock holmes aspect of dealing with diseases and finding out but somewhere inside us there is a surgeon lying dormant who wants to do things so unlike yes, specialties where even in gastroenterology you do things and you wait for response to come and feels like ibd but yes. you know you also need some adrenaline rush like when there's a bleeder you go in and you know band them or you know clip the ulcers and all that so there is a dormant surgeon inside all of us that's what we generally say that especially when you're interested in interventional endoscopy yes ma'am so what will be your advice to uh, the other students who are preparing for their uh, uh, iniss now that oh, you have crossed this journey and you're embarking on a new journey so uh, people will obviously be looking forward to you and your advice and what will you tell them uh ma'am the best part about preparing for an ini is that the speciality you are interested in has maximum weightage in the exam also so it's uh, nice to read that subject nice to know about that subject so i'll uh, advise all uh, the future aspirants to uh, go through nelson go through piyush gupta textbook twice thrice four times till the time it's on the their tips watch all the maro videos solve the questions as well as go through all the espagan guidelines because a lot of questions were asked from the guidelines as well like autoimmune hepatitis primary sclerosis cholangitis and autoimmune hepatitis so uh, these questions uh, for these questions guidelines are really important and there were just one word answers that could be easily answered if we are thorough with the guidelines so uh, dr sheetal uh, what do you think about the role that the maro videos played in navigating the practical exam in iniss because one aspect is the mcq so once you've crossed that hurdle the next is going through the practical exam so how did the video help you vis-a-vis -vis other preparation modes uh, ma'am the practical exam uh, had uh, the all the questions were case based scenarios in the practical exam and a similar approach is followed in the maro videos also like when you are, when you also introduce a topic to us you just give us a scenario and you uh, then give us the investigations and how we rule out op other op how we rule out options how we rule in options diagnosis and management similar way the questions were questions on ehpvo or cmpa similar questions were there and it was easy to approach because we have read that topic in a case based manner only with maro okay so um, so practical uh, so the way we are doing the videos is not just focusing on mcqs but also to make it interesting for your day to day practice so it i hope it helped in your practical exam as well yes ma'am it did help a lot ma'am because the practical was also case based approach similar to what is there in the videos okay So now that you have crossed this milestone what will be your advice to your juniors who are preparing for INISs because they will all be looking up to you since uh, you have achieved what you really wanted to so how, what will you tell your juniors uh ma'am I'll ask them to be very thorough with Nelson and PG textbook for uh, of pediatrics by Dr Piyush Gupta uh then uh, be very thorough with the guidelines ma'am especially the espagan guidelines and some topics that we are supposed to read like pp fic we are supposed to read in a little detail so we have to go through various articles on that atypical manifestations of hepatitis a which was there in the videos as well ma'am uh, ibd all the guidelines they should be very thorough with and the maro videos like they can keep a base the maro uh, notes 
and then they can keep on adding from the nelson the piyush gupta and the guidelines as well okay. so uh, when you prepared what was your strategy how much time did you give for textbooks how much time did you give for the videos and for reading the guidelines did you make notes so what will be the practical way to go about the preparation uh, ma'am i had completed all the topics from maro i had made notes uh on on top of that then i started reading nelson so some new things which i used to find in nelson like the basic development or the anatomy or some tables i used to add on all those things and then the guidelines most of the guidelines were covered in the video some extra points if i used to find again i used to add in the same notes of the same topic ma'am so my one topic had information from all the sources which made it very easy for me to revise that topic uh, near the exam So, Dr. Sheetal, once uh, you cross the MCQ stage of INISS, uh, you had the interview to face. So, to your juniors, what would you tell them? Like, if they had to face the interview for pediatric gastroenterology in a uh, institute of national importance, how should they prepare? Uh, Ma'am, the preparation of interview is not very different from what we prepared for the MCQ exam. Ma'am, the topics were the same. the important topics also were the same like aih cmpa uh, protein losing entropathy fatty diarrhea same topics which are important for the mcq also more stress in the interview was uh, maybe on the imaging ma'am like there were imagings on ehp bio or uh, various like diseases if we can diagnose them on uh, on an imaging so like while while we are reading while we are studying a sign suppose eclesia bird beak sign we should go through all the images that are there while we are seeing the manometry while we are uh, memorizing the ma- manometry we should also see the images of the manometry so that we can differentiate all the three types so uh, doing that wholesome study while we are preparing for the mcq has helped me in the interview and uh, yes ma'am there's nothing very special that i had to read for the interview all these common questions and topics were asked ma'am okay so what did the other candidates feel was difficult in the interview did anybody find it difficult because you aced the exam so uh, is there something that the other people felt difficult during the exams ma'am honestly i didn't have chat with any other candidate actually okay okay, okay. that's fine so in your opinion is there any way that we can improve upon these videos is there anything that uh, we lacked and where we can improve which will be of help to the uh, people who are preparing next year uh videos are perfect ma'am videos uh, i found them perfect very wholesome uh, maybe we can have a little more questions and grant tests for us ma'am okay so that we can practice ma'am yes ma'am. and uh, so uh, what are you going to do after this Uh, ma'am i'll enjoy for a few days and before joining and okay. uh, then yes ma'am and, and yes ma'am the the gruel for the next 3 years will start yes ma'am <laughs> yes ma'am i'll okay so the, that's really nice catching up with you dr sheetal and uh, i hope you really reach heights and uh, i hope you are enjoying what you're doing because gastroenterology is a very very busy field so you'll be called up at any time in the middle of the night you will have to go to the hospital do procedures come back and there is uh, there is an opportunity for immense learning not just theoretically or seeing patients immense learning uh, for your skills as well so the journey is long and you can reach wherever you want to i really hope and pray that you get whatever you want and make very good progress and make us all proud we are already proud thank you so much ma'am that means a lot to me a lot to me ma'am thank you so much sheetal